Hey guys, in the last tutorial, we discussed how we change the dynamically the test name in the extend report by adding the uh, name of the description or the test data name. Like you can see, I added the visual merchandiser as well as the demo other. Now, in this tutorial, I am going to show how we add the logs in the extend report, right? Let's see how we add the steps, logs, message into the extend report. So for this, uh, we have uh, created here uh, in the report manager, report test manager, there is a method get text. This method uh, return the current test method name which we created by using the extend report, extend test. Now, if we call this get text method in our test script, then it will, by using the method, get test method, we can call the log method and add the message. So now let me call this method in our test. So better we can go and create a method in the base test, which we can directly invoke in our test method. So like, like I'm going to create here method te test, I add log. So report manager dot get test method dot log. Here we can call the status like I'm going to call it state pass and then we can pass here the message name, right? We can create a method a parameters here, message and this message I can pass here. No, this is the method when we call this method and pass a message, some string, some value, then that value will add into the report. Let me use this in our test script. Like I am going to use this in the my test script here. So steps add log. Login into application with username. Let me pass here the username. This user. Okay. So now I'm just calling the add log method. We can use here super keyword so that we can uh, differentiate the parent method. Similar type in the next step, I can call here verify user login successfully. Okay, and then we can pass this username here. Now, next is to, I can add here again, super dot add log. Log out from application right so i added these three steps and when we run the test you will see it will log into the report let me add this these messages uh, here in this method third step is log out okay so now let me run the test and this test will execute from the suit XML file because I am calling this test method. So if I'm also calling the listener here. So now if I run the test, you will see it will add the, these messages into the reports. Let's run.
you can see both tests run successfully. Let's open the report and see. So report is open here and you can see these messages are automatically logged in here. Login into the application with the user, verify user, login successfully, log out from the application and test passed. And here we can see also same, all these messages automatically added in the report. Now, if I run directly without the test listeners, the test, let's see what will happen. Now I'm just running this. Okay, you can see the test is failed. Second test is running. Why this test is failed due to just null pointer exception. Why it failed due to the null pointer exception. Let me show you. So if I go in the add log method, so I am calling here the report manager get test. So basically this object will create when we are running the test by calling the listeners. So other than this is null. Right. So what we can do here, we can add one condition if not equal to null, because if this, this is not null, if this is null, then we don't need to add in report because your report will not generate. We are, if we are not using the listeners, if we are using the listeners, then report will generate. So now here I can add a condition. If report manager dot get text not equal to null, then we can add the message otherwise we can skip so let me run now here and you will see this time it will work because i added one condition there here now now here you can see both tests run directly from the test file without calling the listeners. So now hope this will be help to understand how we add the messages logs into the extend report, right? So that we can get some more information, more details in the extend report. Hope this will be helpful. And if you like the tutorial, click on the like button. Subscribe the channel and click on the bell icon so that you can get latest videos notification and also leave a comment if you have any query. Let's meet in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching the video.